Rutland City was struck by a fierce thunderstorm on Friday afternoon. Residences and businesses on Clover Street were forced to evacuate. The American Red Cross was called in to find places for people to stay. Water rushed into basements all over the city. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Paul Whitney. Hopefully we can hear you over the thunder. Yeah, we're going to work on it. Now what happened to your driveway? Uh, we got about a two-foot gouge in the middle of it where the rain came down through here. And a tremendous force. Took around two tons of crushed stone out of it and put it out in the street. Uh, took about 15, 20 minutes to do it. Uh, the rain came down just about as fast as I've ever seen it. Uh, it came down faster than last time we had a flood here, although it didn't get as deep this time. Uh, I had to move four cars in the street here. I had plenty of help from my neighbors. And you can see the big pile of uh, crushed stone in our driveway that's here, up next to our porch. It's not put back yet. The city of Rome did that for me. Uh, and they say it's going to rain more later. I hope it don't. <laughs> it's going to be a bad situation. Yeah. And what did they tell you? Friday tomorrow or Sunday we get back in. And uh, what's your name? Stuart Lazat. Yeah. Did it fill up your cellar? Or? Uh, well, we got water in the cellar, but I'm not too sure how much is in there now because it's still pouring in. Yeah. Flooding was also reported throughout the downtown area. Here crews try to pump the water out of the AC room of building. About 200 employees were evacuated from the state office building. The rain also flooded the cellar of the Bardwell House and caused flooding on streets throughout the city.